I am uh, going to apply the chanfer foil, a premium Iho chanfer foil on the cuticle area, half of the nails. You see, you see me doing it from the half of the nail down to the uh, free edges. This time I'm doing opposite. All right. Here for 60, uh, 30 seconds. I'm sorry. Why well, keep 16 seconds with the top coat? It's funny when you're so talking like all the time and then you like automatically your brain like 60 seconds and say 60 seconds. But you know what I mean? 30 seconds. What? 60 seconds. Alright. Here for 30 seconds. Linda, yes, this is gel polish. I did use that. It's number 15. It's Glist gel polish number 15, Yellow Suns on that nails. And this is boxes number 71. I think, I remember Sharenda have this one. She said, it's not supposed to be called smoothie, but this is look like a smoothie, though. It's make me feel like I want to eat I don't know smoothie. I would call it gelatos. No, it's like marble or cloudy. No, it's like gelato, sure, like uh, peachy gelatos, like make me want to go and eat it. <laughs> okay, yeah. So now Diva, what I do know is that thing for the black bottle, even though if you overkill to 60 seconds, it will still work fine. Yeah, it's, it's will not hurt you at all. But yeah, so do try 30 seconds, so make sure however that it works for you. 30 seconds, it should be good. But if you go 60, it won't hurt at all. Give it a good pressure. And my... Go, so make sure, a lot of you will ask questions why it doesn't stick on the cuticle. It's not like it doesn't stick on the cuticle because if we don't apply the chanfer foil gels there, there's no chance for foil to chanfer it. So then, therefore, it's not going to. So if you want to really detail in the cuticle, I would suggest using a little light brush and dab it in the chanfer foil gels and go around the cuticle before you cure. So therefore, it will be able to give it like completely of details and edges of chanfer foil. If you feel the missing spot, don't worry. Lay it back up. Give it a good pressure. And then it's come out like nicely. And April, so that yellow color is number 15 yellow set. Ta-da! Like skip it and do it right there. You can do it like that if you want to, okay? You can do a negative space and then do it like this. So you can have that. Fabulous. All right. So let's do some crystal placement on this. I'm loving this nails. So I do chanfer foils and crystal placement. Chanfer foil and crystal placement just in case you are in and out. You won't miss it. You come back and then with new nails and you're seeing from chanfer foil all the way to crystal placement. You know what? This one will look good on. Um, do you think red colors, crimson? Red work on it. Huh? Oh, that's gonna be awesome because I got red okay. on my. You will get. You are going to get crimsons on your too, but your shape might be slightly different from my shape. Uh, but you also have that. Tada! I hear my kids again. You're gonna see me with my kids for six time because I'm so excited. I don't know how I can describe this. My kids is so cute. It's perfect. It's great for me to start with the crystal placement. So don't forget no white top coat. I think I'm gonna turn this on. It's hard for me to do that. There you go. All right, crimsons. I'm coming to you. And all right, no wipe top coat floating on the top of Ankir Condensed Glue Gel. You wonder is the key, the condensed glue gel will key? Yes, it will pe penetrate and it keys all the way to because it doesn't have pigment. The top coat doesn't have pigment, so it key your condensed glue gel absolutely completely. All right, so my well, I like that one too. 
also like that. All right, so should I do simples or uh, dramatic? Simple is one, dramatic is two. Or none of above is three. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to get this one. My kids have so many, so I told you, like, we're doing it in the tray. We put it under the tray. Ah, dramatic. Dramatic. <laughs> nay, nay. <laughs> that is, like, a next level. <laughs> Thank you, April. <laughs> nay, nay, I love you. This is, here you go, it's super, it's cute, you can call it square, or you can call it, I'm loving this one, ta-da, alright, dramatic, here I come. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> okay, Nene, as your wish, I will do that. They are going to be beads on, frames on. I just drop it. I take my trays off of that. I do really thin, thin. I just dropped that the other one, but do not worry because I have other frame. to get me some, uh, cut me some frame. You want to cut it? Yeah. I'm supposed to get it. Make some uh, short, shorter straight one. So do not worry if you get some long, longer um, frame like this, just cut in half, okay? So you don't have to okay. uh, oh, half okay. of it. Put it in here for me. Thank you. Doing it my frame right now. See, that's how all of your inspiration is come from here. You wonder how I get. I was playing for my life, but when I on with all of you, I'm so excited because you're always like, Yes, he do this. Yes, he do that. 
Yes, I will do all for you. And now I am going to add some beads on. You can add as many beads as you wish. Or you can add one or two. I usually do one or three. And the best to place it right between crystals. And I usually like it right next to the crystal and tuck it in. So then you won't have to worry about touching on the top of your crystal because you don't want to touch the glue gels or top coat on the top of your crystal is going to ruin your beautiful crystal though. How's everyone doing so far? Oh, nice. You can add more frame if you want to. I'm about to like a dramatic like add it more. How sparkle shiny it is. So you're probably gonna get the crimson, but you get a different shape than mine. You might have a pack the same as I the pack I have, or you might have similar. You know what? You never go wrong with this at all. Tara, happy, cute for 60 seconds. Hi Wanda, how are you? Thanks so 